my beautiful lovelies, it's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today I'm going to be making chocolate gravy and homemade biscuits. Chocolate gravy, have you ever heard of a thing? It actually sounds absolutely delicious. It's essentially a chocolate sauce. It has the consistency of gravy and we're going to be pouring it over biscuits. So it comes from the South, but more specifically from the Ozarks and Appalachia. And so many lovelies have requested this, including Shannon, Sheila, Casey, and Shay. Thank you all so much for getting in touch with me and teaching me about chocolate gravy. It sounds absolutely delicious and it looks relatively simple to make. So let's go ahead and do this. So the delivery mechanism for our gravy are going to be homemade biscuits and I've made biscuits before. I used a technique where you didn't have to even use any measuring tools, just your hands and those biscuits were delicious. But I thought today I'd try a new recipe that came from this book and it's called Spoon Bread and Strawberry Wine. And this is not only a cookbook, but the family history of the Dardens and it includes lovely photographs and John very kindly marked recipes that he thought were interesting. Look at the photos. And this is Artella's plain biscuits. And I'm gonna be making this recipe. And there's a little bit of, of a story of Artelia. And there's Artelia and her husband, Jesse. So that's the recipe we're going to be making today. So in my bowl here, I'm going to sift together all of my dry ingredients. I have two cups of all-purpose flour four teaspoons of baking powder, one tablespoon of sugar, three quarters of a teaspoon of salt, oh my word, <laughs> and behind me I've got my oven preheating to a crack in 450 degrees. Okay, we're going to sift this all together. Many biscuit recipes call for self-rising flour, which includes the salt and the baking powder. Now we're going to add our wet ingredients. Here I have a quarter cup of shortening. I'm going to cut that into our dry ingredients, and then I'll work it together with my fingers until you get this kind of cornmeal consistency. So I think the logic of using a pair of butter knives like this is so that you don't heat up the fat too much and that we have to keep the pieces from melting too quickly. So now I'm just going in with my clean hands and rubbing in the shortening into the flour. And now we're going to add our milk. Now this recipe does not use buttermilk, but plenty of recipes do. So now biscuits are a quick bread. They use baking powder for leavening. So you can have bread, freshly made bread on the table very, very quickly. Okay, now the shortening is combined and now we're going to add our milk. This is whole milk. We're gonna add about three quarters of a cup. I'm not gonna add all of it, just some of it and form it into a dough. Now how much liquid this will take will depend on the humidity of where you are when you're making these biscuits. So we don't want to overwork these as well. So we want our biscuits to be light. I think we're almost there. And I'm going to roll these out and cut them. There are different methods of making biscuits. You can also just form these into little kind of patties and bake them that way as well. So I'm going to empty this out onto my counter. Now we're going to form this into a dough. I think I might need a little bit more milk. Okay. Don't want to work this too much. Just get it to form a dough. Don't need to knead it. Okay, I think we're just about there. So it took almost three quarters of a cup, a little less. Okay, now I've got a skillet. Grab a rolling pin and we're gonna just roll this gently to about a half an inch in thickness. Okay, 
Now, just to make sure that the biscuits don't stick, I'm gonna take a little shortening and rub the bottom of my skillet. Okay, and the sides a little bit too, although my pan is pretty well seasoned. So now I'm gonna take a circle cutter, it's about three inches in diameter, and cut out my biscuits. Go right to the edge, push down, and I've been told not to turn, just push down directly. And that's supposed to help with allowing the biscuits to rise. If you twist it, it seals the edges of the biscuit. That's just what I read. Don't know if it's true or not. You can let me know what you do with your biscuits down in the comments. That's such a great sound. Okay, now I'm gonna pull the scraps away, place my biscuits into my pan and bunch up the scraps together so we don't waste any of that precious dough and make another round of biscuits. So we've got our pan of biscuits. Now we're gonna pop these into a preheated 450 degree oven and bake them for about 10 to 12 minutes or until they're poofed and golden. And while we're doing that, we're gonna make our chocolate gravy. Okay, so let me pop these into the oven. So while the biscuits are baking, we're gonna make our chocolate gravy, and it is super, super simple. In a saucepan, we're just gonna dump everything, almost everything in. Down below, I'll include links to all the videos and resources I watched and read to come up with this recipe. So one cup of sugar, third of a cup of cocoa powder, half teaspoon of salt, and two tablespoons of flour. That's what's gonna thicken everything. And we're gonna give that an initial little whisk to mix everything together. It smells divine. Okay, so we're doing this without heat first. Now we're going to add one and a half cups of whole milk. So doing this off the heat helps us not have any lumps in our gravy, which we do not want. Look, it looks beautiful already. So, oh, it smells so good. It smells like brownie batter. Okay, now that we've whisked everything up, now we can turn on the heat to about medium high. We're gonna bring this to a boil and we're going to stir it pretty much constantly because we don't want it to scorch on the bottom of the pan. So just keep stirring it. And it's important that it come to a full boil so that we know that it's going to come to its thickest point. I think I learned that from Emeril Lagasse when he was making a roux, he's just, or using flour as a thickener. You must allow it to come to a full boil because then you know that it's gonna get as thick as it's gonna get. So we don't put the vanilla in, in the beginning because all that beautiful vanilla essence will kind of evaporate out with the heat. So we'll put that at the end. So from what I read, chocolate, gravy, and biscuits was a treat often had on Sundays. And I could totally imagine this coming together really quick. It's one of those perfect desserts where you can make it really quickly and nothing like Freshly baked goods, you know? Fresh baked goods are the best. Can't beat them. Fresh bread, fresh sweets. And I can imagine this chocolate gravy being good on lots of other things, including ice cream <laughs> or just on toast. Makes a good amount. Okay, so we're almost coming up to a boil here. I can see the little bubbles. And I've got one minute left on my biscuits. So I can hear it coming up here. So all the recipes that I found for chocolate gravy all have the same ingredients. They slightly varied in terms of amounts. Some had more sugar, some had more cocoa powder, some had less. So, but essentially the same recipe. We're making a thick chocolate sauce. Okay, this is about to come up. I can see it coming up to a boil right now, see? It's starting to puff up, yep. So at this point, I'm gonna turn down the heat just a bit and allow it 
to kind of blub, 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 blub a bit so we can get it nice and thick. Look at that. So when you ever <laughs> your sauces or whatever you're cooking wants to do that, take it off the heat immediately. See, so look at that. Wow. Cauldron of hot chocolate. Okay, we'll turn down the heat just a bit. And we're gonna continue cooking this. I've also seen this cooked in a skillet as well. You probably wouldn't have the boil over issue. All right, let me go check on my biscuits. Ah, oh, looking beautiful. I think one more minute time. One more minute. Okay. Okay. One more minute on the biscuits. I think my sauce is just about ready. I'm going to turn off the heat. Okay. So I've turned off the heat. Look at this beautiful, beautiful chocolate gravy. Now I'm going to add three tablespoons of butter. Melt that in there. That's going to make it extra luscious and shiny and glossy. Delicious. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And just melt that butter in. And our gravy is just about done. Cover it. Okay, I think our biscuits are ready. This timing is amazing. Ooh, looking beautiful. <sighs> Look at the biscuits. <laughs> Aren't they beautiful? Ah, perfect. Ah, they smell wonderful as well. I mean, can you not, you cannot beat freshly baked bread. You just can't. Okay, let me get you a close shot of this. All right, my lovelies, I cannot wait to taste this. So we're going to grab one of our biscuits. Look at these. Beautiful. They puffed up beautifully. And now let's break it open. Oh, it's so hot. Steam and hot and fluffy and gorgeous. Place that onto our plate. And now we're going to spoon our beautiful gravy on top. Here we go. I think I need more of a ladle than this. Looks gorgeous. Look at that. Alrighty, my first taste of chocolate gravy and biscuits. I cannot wait. It looks so good. Okay, here we are. I mean, oh. Itadaki Malls. That gravy is so good. It tastes just like chocolate syrup, hot fudge sundae syrup. That's what it tastes like. It's sweet, it's chocolatey, it's warm. It's not as thick as hot fudge though, or sticky. It's got the consistency of gravy, but the flavor is exactly that. It's a little bit buttery, it's rich, and it's sweet, and the chocolate flavor is there, but it's not overpowering. It's just perfect. And the biscuits are lovely as well. Slightly crisp on the bottom, soft and fluffy in the middle. Warm. Fantastic. So stinking good. Mm. 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 <laughs> I cannot wait to share these with my children. They're going to love them. So good. So there you have it, my lovelies. Chocolate gravy with homemade biscuits. Outstanding. Super simple, easy to make. In about a half an hour, you have a beautifully made dessert. 
that's warm, that's comforting, and so, so stinking delicious. If your kids or yourself love chocolate, you will love this recipe. Oh, let me try a biscuit by itself. I'm gonna try a biscuit by itself. Oh my gosh. I really should put some butter on this. All right, buttered biscuit. Oh my gosh, hot out of the oven. My butter is a little cold. Good thing my biscuit's not. Oh yeah. Alrighty, here we go. Fresh out of the oven biscuit. Mm, so good. Slightly crisp and golden on the bottom, fluffy and airy and light in the middle, buttery. Delicious. Mm. I'm gonna make a little sandwich. This is gonna be my lunch. And then I'm gonna have this for dessert. <laughs> Fantastic. Artelia's biscuits are absolutely delicious and lovely. All right, my lovelies, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Check out my website. I will include a printable version of this recipe. Like this video, subscribe, and I shall see you in the next one. Toodaloo, take care. Biscuit time, biscuit time.